Hi there, Spencer Miller from Miller Ancients, filming with the Coin Dictionary, and today I am sharing a half phallus or 20 nummy of the Byzantine emperor Constans II Paganatus. Now that surname, Paganatus, means the bearded, and uh, you can't see a beard in this example because Constans was very young. He was about 15 years old when this coin was struck, but Constans later uh, grew the longest beard of any Byzantine emperor, and you can see it on some of his later coins. It's quite impressive. Um, this coin has quite small, though quite thick. It has a diameter of about 18 millimeters and weighs about three grams. Um, and on the reverse, um, the XX um, is the Latin uh, way of expressing 20. So 20 nummi is half of a full phallus, which was 40 nummi. The coin was struck in Byzantine Carthage, the capital of Byzantine North Africa. You can see the mint mark KRT, maybe CRT actually, CRT um, in the exerg. Um, and the emperor is depicted um, holding a globus cruciger and with a crown above his head. Constans II uh, was a very strong-willed emperor. He came to the throne at the age of 10. Um, uh, his, the throne, uh, or he did not rule right away. Um, regents ruled the empire until he reached his majority. But once he did, he ruled with an iron fist. Um, he was the last emperor to visit Rome. He visited Rome in 663 in a very eerie setting. Um, Professor Paul Friedman of Yale, whose uh, lectures I like, called it a ghost emperor visiting a ghost city. It was a strange moment. The city was almost deserted um, from its peak of a million people uh, at the height of the empire. The city of Rome had only about 50,000 inhabitants when Constance came, and he was greeted by the Pope in an empty forum that was already decaying in somewhat a strange ceremony of late antiquity. And then he actually proceeded to strip all of the buildings in Rome of their precious metals and even base metals. Uh, the precious metals to finance the wars against the Arabs and the base metals to provide, uh, to make weapons for the same war. Um, one of the main fronts of that war was in North Africa. Um, near uh, its capital of Carthage, where this coin was struck. Um, the Arabs conquered Egypt in 641, which put them on the doorstep of the main Byzantine province of Africa, which occupies modern Tunisia and eastern Libya. But their advance was halted by internal dissent within the caliphate and civil wars. Um, in 647, they achieved a decisive victory and killed the Exarch of Africa, the governor, um, but they were not able to follow it up. And the next 30 years in Carthage, um, the, the sort of twilight of Byzantine Christian rule there, um, was somewhat of an odd time because the exarchate was cut off from the rest of the empire by sea. There was no longer the land connection through Egypt and Syria. The Arabs had conquered it. Um, and Carthage was isolated. And in fact, Byzantine Carthage during this period, without connections to Constantinople, began to seek out um, connections across the Sahara with um, African kingdoms. And in fact, the trans-Saharan trade, which many had previously believed started in earnest with the arrival of the Arabs and Islam, actually probably started um, in the late 7th century. Um, in Byzantine North Africa, when the Byzantines living in Carthage had no choice but to turn to the south for trade. In fact, most of the coins of Carthage are small and thick like this, even the gold coins, and uh, many believe that they got the blanks for them, not from Constantinople, but from southern Africa, where they have found coin molds, um, for the gold coins at least, with the flan sizes of the gold coins struck at Carthage. There's a lot of really interesting historical work, scholarship being done on this recently, and this coin was struck right around the time of that battle, so right around 647 AD. Constans was about 15 years old, and it's a really interesting piece of history.